Okay, so today's trip is going to go down to SeaWorld down in San Antonio. Um, you catch me, I stopped that in Randall's on the way to my friend's house. Um, I'm going to take the big turkey, uh, Natalie. Uh, she's never been to SeaWorld, so we'll see how that goes. So, so far I've covered 27 miles, some, some kilowatt hours, and uh, 251 watt hours per mile. Um, so that's kind of expected. Um, the fastest section going over here is uh, on the highway in 1431. It's, um, or FM 1431 for those of you who don't know what that is. It, it, so the speed limit there is 55. So it's it, you know we're not going we're not going to do any uh, fast driving. To go down to SeaWorld though, San Antonio, we'll be uh, going down to I-35. So um, I don't know. It, uh, it's going to be 8:45 when we start on I-35, and uh, be an hour and a half or so. So uh, depending upon traffic, we may be going 70-75. Anyway. Um, I'm not, so I'm not expecting to keep a 250 watt hour per mile uh, average here, but we'll see how it goes. Um, the main thing is to have fun, right? And uh, they do have a new supercharger there in San Antonio. If I can figure out how to route to it, I'll go to that one. Um, probably don't absolutely need it, and I would rather go to Bucky's, but I've been to Bucky's, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, today is just about just a little family trip down to a park. Nothing unusual or strange, just another experience. What happened to your hot dog? <laughs> you ate it? <laughs> okay, so home again, home again, jiggity jog. Um. So the SeaWorld trip was 281 miles both way, uh, one round trip. So 281 miles, used 72 kilowatt hours. Wow, almost could have made it, huh? And 255 watt hours per mile. Um, uh, so I went, picked up my friends. Went, we went to SeaWorld. Arrived there with like 41 percent. Um, the original estimate was 43 and it went up to 44, 45, ended up being 41. Um, just going to show how it works out. Um, and coming back, I stopped at Bucky's to uh, charge up. Um, gee, I'm sorry, I forgot exactly how much uh, I added. Anyway, it was like a 20 minute charge. Just enough to, well, I'm, I'm back home with 22%. So I actually charged up more than I needed to, but the truth is I plugged in, went into Bucky's, went to the bathroom, picked up some cookies, picked up a juice, um, came back out and I was looking like, oh, I already have enough. So I said, yeah, it's time to go. So there you go. I mean, it, 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 that was that was easy. So simple little trip. Uh, now, now to see the total energy was 72 kilowatt hours. I'm kind of thinking like, well, if I charge to 100%, I could probably have driven the whole thing without having to charge. But whatever, the point was to go see the world and have fun. Um, and uh, it was kind of, there's a lot of people, I was kind of tired, but uh, I'll tell you, it's on the, seeing the killer wheel uh, orca exhibit, uh, it, was, it was crowded. So, the last time I was at SeaWorld, um, everybody wanted to be down in the splash zone. Of course, it was hot. Today, it was cool. Um, right now, it's 62 degrees, so uh, it, it caught up to about 70. But anyway, so I was in the splash zone. I was, I was uh, five rows up, and uh, I happened to pick well because the other side of the aisle, well, that whole section was covered with water. And where I was 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 not. I got I got a few splashes on my pants. No big deal. So anyway, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's uh, anyway, it's all good. So anyway, two fifty five. That's almost four miles per kilowatt. So I wasn't holding back, but there was a lot of traffic. 
So uh, in places it was literally stop and go. I mean, or you know what you know what I mean is like go a little bit, stop. Go a little bit, stop. Oh my goodness, I hate I-35. But anyway, peace and harmony. We're all good. Um, what else can I say? So coming, I did stop off at Walmart on the way back home and buy a few groceries. And that, of course, was 224 from Walmart in Cedar Park to my house. So there you go. Anyway, just a little update. Um, some of you are probably saying, well, wait, Ray, I really want to know. All right, so what do you really want to know? So I added 29 kilowatt hours in, at, at Buggies. And if I remember right, it was ten dollars thirty-eight cents, or thirty-four cents per kilowatt. So, uh, uh, yeah, and thirty-four cents per kilowatt, up to thirty-four cents, up to say thirty-six, thirty-eight cents, is a pretty typical price in, in Texas. Uh, and it was nowhere near busy. Um, and, my, and my friends with me were asking. Well, why, why is there a supercharger at Bucky's? Because just like Bucky's, gas is a relatively good, uh, uh, expensive, uh, cheap option. Having having superchargers at Bucky's, it's just another reason for people to stop. I mean, if if the was where the closest supercharger. So there's one in Selma, I think it is. They're close to Selma. That's uh, an HEB. I think those are actually version twos as version opposed to version threes. Um, and there's a uh, going towards San Marcos. There's some superchargers. I don't remember if they're two or threes, but, um, uh, at the premium outlet mall. So, uh, but Bucky's is such a, such a better place to stop to, uh, um, I want to say to, 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 take care of your natural break to take care of your, your human fuel and, and also if you want to take a few minutes to shop around for stuff there's all kinds of interesting things that you can buy in there now if you think Bucky's is too cheap you won't like it yeah okay I'll give you that but otherwise I mean it's a great place so there you go fun time Ugh. Uh, that's that's why that's why I have a Model Y. First of all, it's an electric car. It gets very good mileage. That's 255 watt hours per mile indicates. Um, so that's good. And and the space in in the Model Y. I mean, it, it, we can argue about whether or not it's an SUV. It is an SUV, but. It doesn't have that boxy back end that people associate with SUVs. Okay, I get that. But it does work. But anyway, peace and harmony. See you on the flip side. Okay, so going back and looking at this, I realized I owe you one little thing. I was talking about going to visiting a new supercharger out there on the 1604 in San Antonio. But by the time I was finished with SeaWorld, man, I was tired. I don't, know what, I don't know what hit me, but man, it really, I just got exhausted. So the idea of searching around for the supercharger on a, a secondary highway didn't appeal to me. And uh, we're going right by Bucky's anyway. So I chose to go to Bucky's instead, which I didn't regret one bit. I mean, in retrospect, I wish I had gone <laughs> to this new supercharger, but I mean, there'll be other chances. So whatever, it'll, it'll be there. And that's why we didn't go.